So the January transfer window has officially opened. But before we do anything else, we failed a seasonal objective last episode. The objective was to have a goal difference of 21 by January, and we miserably failed it. So the fourth bit is we have to make a wheel and spin it with all the players in this starting 11. Whoever it lands on, we sell. Please, no! 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 And that's exactly what we're going to do now. We're just going to get straight to it. We're going to spin the wheel. Whoever it lands on, we are selling. Do not be Kane or Son. It's Pequeta. It is Pequeta. You're kidding me. I feel very good. He's 84 rated. It's 25. And he has a value of 40 million pounds. There he goes. He's on the transfer list. And last episode, we finished the Champions League group stage. And we placed top of the group with 10 points. If you saw that episode, you'll know who we have in the round of 16. If you don't know, it is Atletico Madrid. What a massive game that is. And we will be playing the fast leg in today's episode. And the title race continues. We are slipping away a little bit, though. We are now seven points off top, which is Liverpool and Manchester United. We have a massive episode ahead. Let's try and aim for 380 likes. Subscribe if you're new. Turn the bell on and let's get into it. Where of the episode for last episode goes to Ben Tankar. Not gonna lie, it has been four days, so I can't remember anything he did, but I'm sure he was good. You guys are probably shocked. We're losing a player because we've spun a wheel. It landed on Paqueta. Bye-bye is off. But that's not the only player we're losing because of a seasonal objective. If you remember, we have Hoiberg to move on. He failed his objective. So we have to sell Paqueta and Hoiberg, which is pretty funny because they're the two players which before the window, we were maybe talking about moving on. But if we go all the way back to season one and pick out this comment, I don't know who it's from, but I know there was a comment which suggested that we move Benton Carr from a center midfielder to a center defensive midfielder. And last episode, that is exactly what we did. The 25 year old is now in a defensive role and his plan is a deep lying playmaker. So that's a good shout from you guys. So if we take a quick look at the side, Benton Kerr will go at CDM nicely. Hoiberg will mo be moved on. If a PSG comes in from, we might be able to get 60 million. We have 15 currently and obviously moving on Paqueta. We've got some interesting business to do and perhaps we convert Dybala to a camp like so many of you guys want me to do and we go and sign Chiesa or Kulusevski. We've got so many options on the right but throughout this episode we will mainly be focusing on that centre midfield but also sign that other player. We have this dude saying he is really enjoying the Spurs crow mode and it's fire. Not gonna lie, this is probably my favorite crow mode we've ever done. It, it, I think it's topping the Man United one, to be fair. This squad is so good. It, it's realistic in some ways. I know we won the league in the first season, but we're playing some great football. The team's just amazing. We did finish the Barcelona crow mode yesterday, so now expect to just see this until we finish this season and we'll move on to a new career mode. I know it's been four days since we last saw a Spurs video, but we did have two Barca. Unfortunately, I've been extremely busy this week, but going into next week, the grind will truly begin. So link in the description to my Twitch. Turn the bell on so don't miss a future video. And real quick, before we get into the transfers and the good bit you guys want to get to, we have objectives. More objectives. I know. Oh, dear me. When I say objectives, there's only one objective. And this is a new thing which we're going to introduce to our career modes. We won't just have season objectives. We will have an episode objective, which the forfeit will impact the next one. We currently have one with Harry Kane. In this episode, he has to score three goals minimum. If he doesn't do that, next episode, he cannot play in the second leg of the Champions League against Atletico Madrid. That's massive. No other objectives because obviously this is our final season here and there's no point because the forfeits get all confusing. If you don't have a forfeit, there's no point in doing them. So at the end of an episode, you guys are not just letting me know who won't play for the episode, signing suggestions, questions for the press conference, but now you've got episode objectives. So get your suggestions down below for the objective for next episode. Now, I went through the comments of last episode and picked out some of the main players are seeing for suggestions for that center mid role and you guys named about 10 which caught my eye so we're going to go over them now really quickly we've got Yuri Tillemans he's 25 87 rated Leicester great option we can't sign him it'll be far too much money 75 million valuation and we've already used him this year right at the start I feel like we'll end up using this guy one day because you guys are starting to really suggest him Real Sociedad Mikel Moreno 85 rated 26 years old 
midfield, can play CDM, center midfielder, great player. 57 million, maybe a player we could afford. Now, you guys love this guy. It's Jude Bellingham, and I'm pretty sure we only used him once this year. I can't remember what career mode it was. Maybe the Newcastle, but 83 rated, 19 would be expensive, though. 60 million for an 83 rated player. You guys know how good this guy is. He's insane. Now, a little bit of a cheaper option here. 22 years old, 82 rated Porto center midfielder, Vitinha. Is that you say his name? Or in Spain, Vitinha. Now, we're going to the transfer hub because I want you guys to take a look at this. His contract is expiring come end of this year. He's valued at 40 million. We could get him for like 37, 38. So financially would be a good signing, but only 82 rated. It would it would be a downgrade on whoever we've got now. Another option, James Ward-Prowse, 28, 82 rated. Great free kick. Would be a cheap option. But guys, his 82 rated is not going to grow too much. I mean, 83, 84 max. Just not good enough. At some point, we will use him this year. I'm sure we will. Next up, we have Weston McKenney from Juventus. The American is 24 years old. We don't have a scout report on him, but I'm sure it's like 81 rated. So in that case, he's just too low rated. Next up, you guys love this guy. Also, it's Ryan Gravenbach. We have used him already in the Newcastle. He was great. 20 years old. Somehow is at Lavane. We don't have a scout report. So again, probably 81, 82 rated. Now, Josh FC suggested this guy and, and you're having a complete laugh. You guys know I called Ben Tanker at the start, Ben Asar. We have recently done a Milan career mode. You guys don't know how crazy this would send me. If we sign this guy, Ben Asar, Ben Tanker, it's it tied in my head already. And second from last, we have Camavinga from Real Madrid. 20 years old and 81 rated. Valued at 48 and a half million pounds. We could potentially get this deal done. But again, it's our final season and we've got half of it left. So we want to be going for someone high rated. So our final player is a more experienced player. And he used to play for us. Also, uh, Real Madrid is 81 rated. Okay. Oh, damn it. He's 81 rated. How on earth in a season? and a half do you go to 81 rated what an absolute joke that is oh we have our first offer for hoiberg and it's Bayern munich the team he used to play for as i said we might be able to get 60 if paris came in it's Bayern. they don't normally spend a ton of money uh, they want the 53 we we won't be getting 60 but what about 58 what are you saying they say yes good deal and boom we have barcelona coming in for paqueta as well that that's so satisfying we don't have to wait half a year to get just one transfer offer why are they offering nearly valuation what is that all about can we get 60 million for paqueta as well 48 when's his contract expiring 56 million come on Xavi. he says yes that's good 58 million from Bayern Munich for hoiberg and 56 million from barcelona for paqueta we have a cup game now now in the FA Cup. We don't want to be going out, so we're going strong. Ah, oh, no, P P Paqueta has to play his final game. And Hoiberg, man, they have to be playing their final game here. We we're going slightly strong. It's Plymouth. Come on. Come on, Space. You can't be losing to Plymouth. It's a 1-0 win. It's Kane off the bench. Are you kidding me? I tell you what, games in the FA Cup, Copa del Rey, they're so scary. It's almost like the game wants you to go out. Hoiberg has now officially been sold. And Chelsea want Gill. Absolutely not. And Paqueta has now officially been sold. We have a budget of 110 million. We're gonna have to be careful with what we spend here. I mean, this whole budget would be spent on a Kulusevsky, by the way, or a Chiesa. We, we might not even be able to afford a Chiesa with all this money. So I don't think we'll be going in for them. And we can't even go in for Jude Bellingham because they don't want to sell him. And what about a Milinkovic Savage? At 75 to 103. What is going on with the money right here? And a Valverde would be 112 to 160. Guys, we're one and a half seasons into this right now, and so many players have grown by so much. To be fair, I think the player we're actually going to put an offer in for is Camavinga. I'm going to put 62 million in for him. It, it will leave us with 50, then want 78. Okay, 67 million pounds. Come on, Ray out. 72. We, we can settle at his release clause, which they should just be accepting. Yeah, they do. I'm just going to get this deal over the line guys every other option we were looking at was so 
expensive. 130k a week, 200k signing on bonus. That gets the deal over the line. Our new number five, he can play CDM to be fair. We're going to get him at a playmaker. He has some decent speed, but there we go. Slot him to the team nicely. Cam of Ingram, Bentancar. We still need a Cam. Dybala, move him over. I mean, Dybala on the right. What, what's, what's better? We get a Cam or a right winger? I actually feel a player we could look at is Pedro Neto. He's left budded. He's from Wolverhampton and perfectly fit our budget. 32 million to 43 million would be a great signing. Probably 81 rated. And another option is English. It's Noni Maduki. Starts at 77 rated, 88 potential. Right mid, Everton have gone in for this guy. Second season, it's probably 79, 80 rated. But guys, we want to be going for the league. We've got a massive Champions League game coming up. We want to be winning that competition. We're going to go in for Pedro Neto. We're going to do it. We're going to pull the trigger and we're going to buy him. We won't be able to do anything with the remaining money. So just straight up fed it. They don't even accept it. They don't even accept it. Fair enough. 40 million up front. They say yes. And you're probably thinking, who is going to be starting on the right-hand side? Well, we are replacing a player who was 84 rated. And I think Bergwijn deserves a chance now. So he gets into the starting 11. And if Pedro Neto is like 81 rated, then we can just have some good rotation going on. 110k a week, 100k signing on bonus. That gets the deal over the line. What number is it? He's number 18 and he is 81 rated, guys. Let's move him over to that right winger position. Two weeks. Number 11. There we go. Pedro Neto. You love to see it. This team may have got weaker, but I tell you what, it is more exciting now. We've got Neto, we've got Camavinga. I know you guys will be happy with this business, certainly. So we'll just convert Dybala to a Cam now from a right winger. It will take two weeks, but as soon as that happens, he, he may even go up in rating, to be fair. Got leads up next. It's a big game. They are 15th. We have to be winning this. Of course, we've got some big debuts or a big debut in Camavinga. I'm sure Neto will come off the bench, though. We're gonna see him. We're, we're, we're away from home. Come on, Spides. It's a 2-0 win. But Oguayne and Kane, come on, Spurs. Riding up next, they are 17th. And I tell you what, Neto will be starting this game. And so will Wings, to be fair, because Camavinga is tied. We're at home. We should be getting three points here. And we do. Three goals. Son with a brace. And Harry Kane. Who else would it be? Fourth round in the FA Cup, we have Wimbledon now, which in some ways is a rivalry. I feel we will be going strong in this game. David will be starting. Gil will, but we are going very strong. I want to be winning this competition and you have to you, I, do, I do not get this game I, I don't get it let me know in the comments is it the same with you you could play the best team in the world FA Cup any cup game Coppa Italia Coppa del Rey all of them the game wants you to lose and the irritating thing is is I knew that was gonna happen just then soon as I played David over Kane I thought oh no we've got Pedro Neto as a right winger now by the way inverted winger is what we're gonna put him on but we have a massive game in the Premier League now against Wolves. Where are they on the table? They're 12. We have to be playing it anyway because you know who's starting on the right-hand side. It's Pedro Neto. Let's try and get some goal contributions with him. And let's pick up the three points. Early on, we have Som. We've got Regulon with the overlap. We've got Kane once again doing nothing. Not even attempting to get into a decent position. Son's going to wind one up from here, though. Yeah, that, that's a save. It's not going in from there. Here's Son. Camera finger on the ball. We've got Pedro Neto in a great position. Here he is in behind. Good opportunity for a goal on his left. What a finish. What a finish. That is exactly what we want on that right hand side. What a ball from Camavinga to Pedro Neto onto that left, which is always risky. He can do it with very good players, but sometimes there's a heavy touch. I wanted to do it. I wanted it on that left. Is that left footed right winger? You have to be doing that. It's 1 0 Spurs, an assist from Camavinga, and the goal from Neto against Wolves. Oh, that's a ball over the top. Surely, surely an equalizer straight away. Wolves are literally straight back in it. Is that Renato Sanchez? I, I, was that Abraham Lincoln? I don't know what on earth that said on the back. 
Well, manager's placed. 1-1. One, one. Straight back in it. You won't believe that. Reculon, Camavinga, Son, now to Kane. Again, we, I know it's not quick, but we might actually just have to tell him to get in behind. Because he just doesn't do anything. To be fair, we could just put him as a target, man. If we want to cross the ball to him, I'm pretty sure that is what you want him on, right? Harry Kane's getting forward here. Yeah, he's making some of a, somewhat of a run there. A dangerous ball in behind. Well defended. Here's Pedro Neto on the ball. Now Harry Kane. Nice footwork. He, he just is very, very good. He's got a long shot. We've never really utilized it, though. At least he does IRL. Don't know if he does here. Camavinga, good touch. Boom! 2-1 Spurs. Pedro Neto and Camavinga with the two goals. The two new signings. What a game he's having. One goal, one assist. Run the lead. Come on, Spurs. Son, Kane, as you touch. That's a goal. 3-1. There we go. Game over. Just before halftime. That's it. I, I thought we were well into the second half, to be fair. Kane's always scoring that. I think target man is going to be better, but we've got this game done now, surely. Ooh, that's not a penalty, but that's a solid yellow card there. Four. Was that Romero? It was. That was dreadful chipped in we can get that away nicely right we're in extra time now two added minutes we should be at the end of the game we've won the game can we get another goal that's the question no we won't that is that what a game it has been Camavinga with a goal Pedro Neto with a goal and Harry Kane we have chance for deadline day now and as we don't want to be getting rid of anyone we can't sign anyone because we don't have the money we'll just go straight over that we are fifth in the league Everton now it was either the Wolves game or this game I don't think we'll have time to play three games in an episode because we did do a lot of business so we will be simulating this this is a massive game i i have not checked the table don't know where we are and boom yeah that that that's what you get when you simulate a game this big of course this can happen but champions league is our priority at this point even more so now and we want to be getting to that game and playing it so we're third place with five points clear from fourth spot and we're seven points away from second place liverpool and 10 points off top of the league manchester united we have definitely let that title race go we are no longer in it but here we go diego simonone's atletico madrid with the 4-4-2 anti-football aggressive argentinians whatever you want to call them they love a good game we need Romero. We need Dybala. Royale. Got any other South Americans? Benton Kerr, where you're from. We need them going at it in this game. Giving it right back. Pedro Neto can be some emotional support because he can speak Portuguese. And so can Kane. Did you guys actually know that? Kane can speak Portuguese. Of course he bloody can't. He can't speak English. Okay, early on, Camavinga coming forward. Son can keep that in the pitch. Okay, we like these positions. We love these positions. Here's Harry Kane. Oh, if that pass makes it to him there. Dangerous. Dangerous position for him. These kits are clashing, not going to lie. Got Son. Reculant. We need to set Kane as a target man. Whipped in. Big header. Bergwijn, what a save. We need to set Kane as that target, man. Because I feel last episode, la last game, not last episode, it made a big difference. Ooh, oh no, what is that? What is that? We are so lucky that Luis Suarez is not left-footed. Because I tell you what, that would have been buried in the back of the net right there. That was close. That was ever so close. Son, we've got a run from Kane. We've got Bergwijn, got Emerson Royale on the right-hand side. Kane, drift back post, drift back post, boom. Whipped in, Kane back post. Oh, good save by our black there. Our ball again, Regulant, Kane. Son, oh, honestly, we're like one pass away from every counter-attack from actually scoring, and that's upside. Here's Luis Suarez on the ball. Whipped in, back post, no. Oh, what a block. You cannot have a half of them doing that and then score before the break. I mean, that would be typical Atleti. It's regular. Now Camavinga. He has had such a massive impact so far to this squad. Here's Camavinga looking for Son. Oh, no. Where's the tackle? Okay. Come on. No, you're kidding me. It's onside as well. Atleti hit us on the break. How else are they going to score? And it's Luis Suarez with the goal. That is not what we want to be doing. We shouldn't be sliding in there. That is awful from Bentancar. What are you doing? What is that all about? Keep a 
could have said, I mean, you can't, you can't be relying on the keeper to save it there. We're one nil down. Hey, okay, we're going to actually make a change here. We're going to bring on Neto and we're going to make a change in midfield. Dybala's tied, so we're going to bring on Gale. I mean, he's 82 rated. He, he should be able to do a job. Oh, no, never good opportunity. Get the tackle in. Get on that keeper and just get it up, Pitch. I do feel this is a game, guys. If we go 2-0 down, it's over. You cannot be offside in that position. He isn't. Got Son out wide. What is that for a ball? Your weak foot cannot be that bad. Oh, no. Another big opportunity. Jao Felix. Come on. Slide in. Big tackle. Wow. What a tackle by Endika. That was crucial. Now, here's Neto. He's got a left foot. It's just came on. Pedro Neto near post. It's a good save. Nope. Oh, what an... Oh, Romero. He is class. Absolute. If we score here, that is absolute class. Harry Kane. Oh, what a goal. You have to be kidding me. That is pure class. Last by Romero. That deserves player of the episode just for doing that. That was incredible. What an assist. And the finish was immense. Harry Kane. Wow. It's one all at the Metropolitano in a spanner. Atletico Madrid. Come on, Spurs. Great tackle there. Great tackle. Romero. There we go. There we go. It's a draw. We did not play well. We can accept that. We did not play well. We're humble enough to accept that. You know, we need to improve. Approach that second leg differently because we need to be winning this competition. We're going to finish the episode off with a sim against Fulham. You guys have had a longer episode today. Good. Will be starting over Di but No, he won't. No, he won't. Actually, Bergwine can go in the middle and Pedro Neto can go on the right. We need to be getting the three points here. Top four, we need to achieve. It's a 2 1 win. Bergwine with a break. There we go. I feel this career mode keeps getting better and better. More fun by the second we play. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, leave it a thumbs up, sub if you're new, turn the bell on. Don't forget, player of the episode, comments, suggestions for the press conference, and the episode objective for next episode. I'm pretty sure we did achieve it with Kane today. Uh, let me know in the comments if we did or we didn't. I I'm pretty sure we did. We're going to have to keep track of these, but yeah, forfeit in the comments, suggestion in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching. In the top left of the video should be a video that YouTube recommends you watch. Later, guys.